Straddler, where are you? Get back in your cubicle. I'm not paying you to uncubicle yourself. Hello, hello. It's Friday, May 20th, and I've officially been on the road over a month. So, pretty stoked about that. No problems. Um, I'm here at uh, Severn Dam. Um, nice little spot, but the weather's been pretty trying. Um, it was sunny and windy the first night. Last night was crazy windy and pouring rain. Um, the bright side is my leak passed that test. So, I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, I'm just waiting for this video to render, which will be the video you see before this one, um, about my visit to Dinosaur Provincial Park. Um, after that, I'm hitching up again and going into Drumheller, going to get my propane tanks refilled, and then moving on to the other side of Drumheller to meet up with a bunch of other photographers and models and... Um, we're going to do a collaboration group shoot um, over the weekend. So basically it's a group that I know from Calgary that we're heading out for the May long weekend to this spot. It's a private campground on the other side of Drumheller and we're just going to go out and trade each other's time and talent and get some pictures. So that's pretty much where I'm heading for this May long weekend of 2016 and then from there, I don't know. We'll have to see, because you know about as much as I know. Actually, by the time you see this, I'll know, because I'll have gone there. Um, yeah, my videos are a little delayed, just because it takes a little time to shoot them and edit them and find internet and upload them. So yeah, that said, I'm going to sign off, and hopefully this will be done soon, although it's taken its sweet-ass time. Um, so, from the road, I'll see you later. Cheers. weekend collaboration shoot kind of went bust thanks to cold wet weather it was a nice little uh, area though and now we're just driving out this is the last of the muddy dirt road sorry for the camera work it's a little rough but life is nothing if not a dashing bold adventure well, it's Saturday of the long weekend, and I'm on the road again. The uh, collaboration shoot kind of got cancelled, um, basically due to the weather. It was a gorgeous spot. Um, I got up there late last night and it was raining by the time I arrived. Um, it's quite a ways, not quite a ways, but it's a bit of a drive out of Drumheller, and it was up on a rise and as you got up you I was kind of going okay well this is just a farmer's field but then once I got to where everybody was camped I saw what the big deal was and uh, it was an awesome view of uh, a coulee that I didn't even know was there so it was pretty interesting we stood around under a tarp with a little makeshift uh, fire hot thing for a little while and then went to bed and the wind and rain just pounded us so the organizer alicia basically decided yeah um, we're gonna call it one of the guys that came in late late last night he was stuck down at the bottom of the hill because the mud was so deep and that kind of thing so yeah we put a cork in that and by about eight o'clock we were on our way out uh, as a as a caravan because we didn't want to leave anybody stuck behind in case uh, somebody couldn't get out of the muck and, and that. So needless to say, the 
truck and trailer are all covered in mud. But I decided uh, to just take the time and go, okay, I guess I'm going to head somewhere and started heading north from Drumheller. I mean, I've uh, explored Drumheller before, so it wasn't a really big um, place on my list to explore again. So I'm just kind of driving north and doing my thing. That said, uh, I've come across a ghost town called Rowley. Um, I think the population is around six, but for the most part I had the rest of the little town to myself and just kind of wandered. Um, it's still pretty dreary, although it's warming up now. Saturday of every month the saloon there opens up and they have pizza night one of the guys I was talking to in um, Big Valley was saying that uh, and you go and you basically you get there and you order your pizza and um, they give you a number and then you drink beer until your pizza comes he was saying that some a friend of theirs went the other I guess last month and there was, their number was 25 or something, and the people beside them, their number was like 250. So they're going through a whole lot of pizza on that Saturday night, which is probably um, helping them, you know, buy wood and et cetera, et cetera, because they do a lot of work uh, to restore that town. So it's kind of neat. Lamas. From there I came north and pulled into a little town called Big Valley. Um, like Rowley, it has a, an old train station stop, and um, this one actually has a uh, train that comes in um, on a regular basis. There's a train coming in today at 4, but I didn't stay for that. Um, had it been a steam train, I would have hung around because that would have been really cool, but it's just a regular train comes in, and it's a, kind of a train excursion, so those happen. Uh, I think right now she said just Sundays, um, but then they ramp it up through the summer. Um, what else? Big Valley has, I think, five different um, volunteer-driven museums with some really cool stuff in them. Um, the one has a collection of cars that one guy left, and uh, including a 64 Barracuda that literally has 2,000 miles on it. It's all original. They cleaned it up a little bit, put some gas in it, tuned it up, and it runs. So that's really cool. Uh, it's gotta be worth a pretty penny. Uh, they have another building that's strictly just tools. Over 10,000 farm tools and implements dating back to the 1800s. 
and all of those were donated by one guy. It's basically his collection he donated to the Historical Society in, in Big Valley. It's a pretty cool little town to stop and just kind of wander through. Um, there's a blue church up on a hill that's kind of neat. Um, obviously, I'm go probably going to put some video over top of me talking because uh, you know, he needs to look at this mug all the time. And the reason I didn't talk over the video uh, outside is, again, it's still pretty windy. Also in uh, Big Valley, there's this little um, uh, makeshift country boardwalk. Um, it's on Main Street. It's the kind of little touristy part. But uh, there's a little fudge place and um, an ice cream parlor and a bistro. And I stopped in the bistro and had a coffee and talked with some of the locals who gave me some ideas of you know, where I could check out for photos, etc., etc. So that was kind of neat, just to hang out, chat. What kind of turned out to be a little bit of a bummer, leaving the um, failed collaboration shoot this morning, um, has turned into a bit of an interesting day. There's uh, lots of stuff out here to see. Well, it may be a gray day, and it may be a little chilly, but that doesn't prevent us from having another installment of big stuff. So I'm in Donalda, I believe is how it's pronounced. I could be wrong. Uh, Donalda, Alberta. And what they have here is the world's largest lamp. Check it out. It's one big lamp. Guess it doesn't work. The big lamp in Donalda, 42 feet tall and six feet wide. The lamp you see standing behind you was the brainchild of four local residents. The purpose of the lamp was to bring attention to our local museum and the collection of oil lamps in its collection. Nice little park. Looks like a nice little town with a gallery. Obviously a museum full of oil lamps. Well, there you go. That's the, today's installment of Big Stuff. And I'm pretty much done, so I'm going to head back to my trailer. So before leaving Donalda, I stopped to take a few pictures of this fire truck. And I also wanted to take this opportunity to wish one of my followers a happy birthday. So, Miss Amelia, happy birthday. And thanks to you and your mom for watching my videos. So, yeah, have yourself a good one. Okay, cheers. It's like working with a monkey.